I'm now joined by the Chief Executive Officer at Standard Bank, Mr. Sim Shabalala. Thank you so much for joining us uh, on On Point. Given these rising interest rates uh, and pressure on household incomes due particularly to high debts, do you think that you, you as a bank you could expect loan growth to continue in the second half of the financial year? We do think that, thank you very much for the opportunity to have this conversation. Uh, we do think that um, the consumer in South Africa has entered this rate rising cycle far more stronger than they were in the previous one around 2014. So their balance sheets are a lot stronger. There's lots of evidence that points to this, including uh, the disposable income of wealthy people that arises from their exposure to um, dividend income, um, holding government bonds and earning high interest rates. In addition to that, people have got higher disposable income. Uh, uh, debt service to disposable income ratios uh, are, are, are robust. Um, people are purchasing homes, they're purchasing vehicles, they're transacting, and their activity, as you pointed out in your introductory remarks, is higher than prior to entry into the um, into the into the global fund into the uh, pandemic um, it is true however that uh, we would expect another 0.75 percent increase in interest rates um, this year uh, that will be tough on consumers uh, the combination of higher interest rates higher inflation uh, is going to be tough on consumers but we still think that that will be within our you know views around what sort of risk we are willing to take. We're still comfortable with those levels of risk. Uh, it'll put pressure clearly on our income statement, but mm. we can still manage it. All right. Let's talk about um, how now, because of this digital channels are growing, uh, do you expect that you will be reducing your footprint, branch footprint in the country to cut the size of some branches? We've seen some of your competitors um, talking about that, doing that. Uh, what is your plan with regards to that? You still have a lot of uh, South African customers that still find it better to go into a branch rather than using uh, the digital platforms that we find so comfortable. I think we want to continue to service our clients, uh, either physically or digitally, in a way that they require. Uh, a large proportion of our clients uh, no longer visit the branch. Uh, I'm prepared to bet uh, between you and I that you haven't been to a branch in the last five years. No. <laughs> um, uh, and so many people do not visit the branch, but many people still do. There are many people who want to solve problems. They want to go and uh, have a conversation with the, uh, with the consultants and mm. so forth. And so branches will continue to exist. However, the reduction in square meterage is just fundamental. It's so important to all of us yeah. because premises costs are a large proportion of uh, our income statement and we need to, to reduce them. However, as we said in our presentation, our points of representation are not going to reduce. In other words, places where clients can visit us. So we're going to reduce the square meterage, the size of, uh, uh, of, uh, of our points of representation but we're going to increase uh, the uh, places where people can visit us, either at our own branches or at kiosks uh, that we open in partnership with, uh, with others. Um, and so importantly then, uh, you know, they say in the classics, the branch is dead, long live the branch. Our clients will continue to want to be at a branch. Mm. And so we'll have branches that are appropriate for them. But uh, the digitization of the organization continues because a large number of people such as yourself yeah. uh, use uh, digital channels to interact with the yeah. bank. Sim, can you give us some color on uh, Standard Bank support for particularly the SME sector? We saw how much it was impacted, particularly by the pandemic, uh, which resulted in uh, you know, slow economic growth. What is Standard Bank doing to support the small business sector? You know, uh, SMEs and mid-sized companies globally are a large contributor to employment and they're a large contributor to GDP. And therefore, we believe that this is a market that we want to be in. Uh, we have very strong relationships. Uh, we've got a deep understanding of this customer base. And at Standard Bank, we have a tradition of uh, servicing this customer base uh, efficiently. Uh, we now have 785,000 active clients um, that uh, increased by 4% in the half year. 50% uh, of these clients are digitally active. In other words, like you, 
they want to use digital uh, uh, means to do their transactions. Uh, we've got 72 million digital transactions in the period. That was up 8%. And so we're continuing to support these customers through the distribution channels and with the relationship managers, the human beings that are most appropriate for them. Um, we continue to support this business recovery, as you say, when we saw a strong increase uh, in trade volumes. That was up 21%. Mm. Um, that this reflects the, the, the recovery. Uh, merchant acquiring, in other words, uh, small moms and pops, medium-sized uh, clients, uh, restaurants, uh, uh, petrol stations, uh, we saw their turnover uh, on their point-of-sale machines was up by 21%, and we saw mobile uh, transaction volumes being up 25%. So in other words, we are there for these clients when they need us, either to provide them with balance sheet, we lend them money, or we provide them with products and services and advice that they need yeah. to drive their businesses. Yeah. All of this, um, whether it's SME support or it's just individual uh, customers, it, it hinges on a, a bit of a, an economy that works well. And I'm wondering about how confident are you about what government has been doing with regards to addressing structural reforms where they have been updating in the Operation Volindlela what they've been doing. As a bank, do you think uh, that we are moving at a... A fast enough pace or the government is moving at a fast enough pace and what they're doing is it sufficient uh, not being a politician I think I can be direct in other words uh, the fact of the matter is we're not moving fast enough as a country um, and we could move faster and that is both government the labor movement organs of civil society and, and business but I think uh, if you run through the list of uh, successes uh, looking at uh, Operation Vulindlel, I think we can be proud of uh, what has been done so far. Uh, the passing of the legislation to make distributed uh, power generation possible has been done. The uh, restructuring of ESCOM uh, uh, into three operating units is well on its way. The spectrum has now been released and uh, a colleague of mine was telling me that uh, the process uh, to issue these licenses um, was amongst the best in the world. Uh, the logistics of the country are in advanced stages of being uh, reorganized uh, with the freight rail uh, and ports uh, receiving attention. The water sector uh, is also receiving attention. Mm. And so if you run through the list of things being done, it's impressive. Is it fast enough? No. Uh, we are delighted, of course, at the plan that was announced by the, the president and the action plan in respect of electricity. But lots of people have said we wish it had happened earlier. Yeah. Uh, but we are where we are. Uh, execution is happening. Conversations are happening. And uh, hopefully you will see that... Uh, add to the GDP of the country. Yeah. While there's movement happening in the energy space, um, the splitting of ESCOM um, and, and, other, and other developments, so the, the reality is that we still live with um, uh, load shedding, uh, which has come has kicked in once again and obviously will impact on the economy each day that we are load shed. How much funding have you committed so far to the government's renewable program energy, uh, energy program now that is the, this threshold has been removed for uh, licensing and what's your appetite for funding? Our appetite for funding is uh, commensurate with the size of our balance sheet. And if I could just summarize for you at the highest level, we're involved in the independent power producer programs uh, and in all the bid windows. And in fact, uh, we have a disproportionate market share. We've got a higher market share than our natural market share in, uh, in the bid windows. Secondly, we service the municipalities, uh, the mining companies the, and the other manufacturers that will be responsible for and involved in distributed uh, power generation. And so we're excited. Uh, our balance sheet is available. Uh, we're open for business and our clients know that. Sim Shabalala, the Chief Executive Officer at Standard Bank. Thank you so much. Always a great pleasure speaking to you. Thank you so much for joining us on On Point.